Jada Metal. Uh, we talked about Jada in the past, and it looks like they're going to be doing more stuff. Uh, Jada's Metals line, which is unrelated to their die-cast car stuff, has been kind of littering Walmarts recently. If you've gone to your Walmart and you've gone to the action figure section or or the action figure slash uh, trading card and, and pop vinyl kind of section, mm-hmm. uh, you'll see a lot of Jada's stuff that's been going on from an action figure standpoint. They've been doing Harry Potter, Street Fighter, Marvel, DC, uh, WWE related stuff. They have all a the whole, brands. They have a whole website, uh, Jada Metals, dedicated to all their metal action figure stuff, which is static, statuesque kind of metal figures that range from uh, the small, small, super tiny micro scale statuette figures with limited paint on it to the four inch scale stuff that they do, which is a lot nicer and also has paint, but also just a limited statuesque kind of figure. So they've had, they've been doing it of all these different brands. They've been doing Transformer stuff from a die cast car standpoint, but nothing that has been action figures up to this point until now. Mm. So now their metal figs series is going to be releasing in the in the very near future, uh, according to this this uh, Facebook post on their webs on their uh, Facebook site that's going to be hitting retailers next month. Is their metal series the last night Optimus Prime Bumblebee? A little late, a little late in my opinion. Uh, very, very, I would say very late. I yeah. mean, Oscar seasons come and gone, and they were nominated for their soundtrack. Uh, the DVD's out already. I would say very late. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, and I find it bizarre because their other diecast stuff was timely released on time for mm-hmm. the movie, if not early before the movie, but not so much so in the case of this. So it's it's very bizarre. And then that that's that's been an overarching problem that I've had with the last night is a lot of their merchandise that really mattered in a lot of ways didn't come until the movie was already out of theaters. Like the hot rod toy didn't really hit until the movie was already out of theaters. Uh, the Cogman toy you know, just was MIA for a lot of people. You know, you just yeah. couldn't find it. And then yeah, it, it then it started to slowly show up, but only after the movie's on DVD, you know. <laughs> so for this to be showing up next month when we're maybe only a couple of months away from the Bumblebee movie, kind of late. Um, these Jada figures, I've, I've messed with their smaller stuff. Um, the paint on those isn't the greatest in the world. I have their some of their Street Fighter ones. Uh, their larger stuff is nicer. I saw their Chung Lee in person at a comic store once, and I, it, it was not bad. So I'm pretty sure for someone who's a big Optimus or Bumblebee fan, they'll appreciate this. It, they're very heavy, though. It, it's pure, 100% pure die cast. Uh, they're not articulated, though. Keep that in mind. So if you're if you're hoping for like a posable figure with die cast, it's, it's just a statue, pretty much. They're about four inches. And uh, they're very nice looking, but at the same time, I just don't see where this belongs in the grand scheme of things as a collector. Not to mention, it's two characters that have only a billion figures of them already. Yeah, exactly. I can I can understand if they did this of say Drift or or not even Hot Rod, but even Cogman, like characters that don't have a lot of toys or merchandise. So you could you could give them a little extra something here and there. But I think it's Jada just playing it safe, going like, well, if we're gonna do two movie characters. Might as well do the two biggest. Yeah, might as well going to do the, the the two best sellers. So, but I, I again, kind of a missed opportunity for them. If this is something that would have came out, geez, like four or five months ago, would have yeah. made would have made all the difference for them. I think for sales. But I mean, they're just and not to mention like this Bumblebee is not going to match how he looks in the movie coming in December. So. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But still, they're really good stuff, though. I've messed with their other stuff, so you can't you can't knock their quality. 